we're going to measure our own abdominal separation. Firstly, I'll run through all the steps and then we'll go through each one together and do it at the same time. So, step one will be to lie down with your knees bent. This is called crook lying and like the picture under step one. Next, have a feel for the edges of your six pack muscle, particularly two centimeters to four centimeters above your belly button, at your belly button, and then again two to four centimeters below your belly button. You might feel different widths at each area. In this step, just have a feel for the sides of the muscles and get used to touching your body in this way. For step three, lift the head and shoulders up to do a mini crunch. This will help you find those six pack muscles as you might feel them stand out a little bit more. Have a feel for the edges of those muscles. Once you have found the edges of the muscles, measure the distance between them with your fingers. So your fingers will go across your abdomen. We're then going to repeat this process while activating pelvic floor and TA. Okay, let's do this process together for real. Step one is to lie on your back and bend your knees. These should be at a 45 degree angle or wherever is comfortable for you. Step two is to feel for the sides of your six pack muscles. While you're laying down with your knees up, have a feel of your abdomen and see if you can find the edges. Pause me to do that now. If you could not find the edges, don't stress. Do a mini crunch up and have another feel. If you could find them, still crunch up, ready to measure the gap. Measure the gap with your fingers. This is to line up how many fingers you can fit across the gap. Do this at your belly button, a couple of centimetres above your belly button and a couple of centimetres below your belly button. Now relax back down and do a pelvic floor contraction. Hold this contraction, come back up and re-measure. Pause me to do that now. Finally, relax for one last round. We're going to do the measurement with a TA contraction. Think about pulling your two hip bones together at the front or zipping up your trousers, tilting your pelvis back. Then do your crunch and re-measure. The most important step is to write everything down. Next up, we're going to learn about intra-abdominal pressure and how that's connected to doming and coning.